individual 400 meters hurdles and the women's 4 by 400 meters towards the end of the program. France. Things are these pass moves. No. They had a cool move. Do you want to see my move? Oh wow, it's so cool! Oh, that was wow, cool. I wish I was so cool as you! Oh, look what you do, my intro! Yeah, that was so cool! You have 20 seconds! It's really nice to be here. I've been looking forward to coming here now for quite a while. And uh, the last weeks I've really wanted to be here and just come out here and compete. So now it's really counting the days, so I'm really happy. My first World Champs was Doha in 2019 and I was 19 years old, it was my first big tournament and now I'm going to my third World Champs already and yeah with so much more experience and so much faster times already and it's different but still I'm, I always feel a bit like a small kid when I get into the stadium, when I see everything for the first time and I think I also like this feeling and I like to keep it so it's different but at the end you're always here to do the same, let's perform the best you can. It's beautiful. I'm in a great shape and I feel really good and I'm in a great season so I hope for another great race on the hurdles of course. I mean it's the event I love the most so I would really like to do well at it but at the same time we have really good relays so I also hope we can show that we are a really strong country because I think we're a really strong 400 meter country since the last couple of years so all together I hope it's going to be nice and we make some good memories. amazing the crowd we're in the heat you could hear them so loud so I think the final is going to be great with a great atmosphere and some sun hopefully ah it depends sometimes the morning sometimes Right before the call room, often when I'm in the call room it's all fine and when I get into, the, into like the stadium it's also pretty okay. When I do relay it's when the gun goes off and you see the first people running but when I run alone it's mostly somewhere in the warm-up they will come up and then they will go away or I'll have them under control. going to come under pressure here from Holmes. She's got that 400 hurdle strength, but Holmes is coming. She's closing. What a race, what a finish. Oh my goodness me, United States. Femke Bull dropped that baton before she got to the finish line. That baton went over the finish line. She could not get it, bring it back and cross the finish line. I'm not sure that the Netherlands were able to finish that race. And check this out, world record for gold. National record for silver, a national record for bronze. I was on a warm-up of the day of my heat. Everyone was looking at me like, 
is she crazy? Is she okay? What's going on? And then I was just, I'm here and I don't need everyone to look at me like with pity because I'm here, I'm strong and I'm ready. So No, and I wanted to be positive because it was tough, but I love the sport and I love to be at the tournament. So I wanted to show everyone that it can be tough, but come back with a smile and give it everything you've got. This is all you can do. Of course, I hope that getting better as an athlete will at the end make me on top of the podium. But I think it's really important to focus on yourself, especially since my event is so competitive. And I can always look at others and always see people who are better or things that are better. But I think the best is just to focus on yourself and do what you can to improve. And if you do this, I think you become an happy athlete. Because as long as I'm somewhere and I know I've done all I could to become the best athlete, I can only be happy. And then I just have to accept that someone is faster or that I'm the fastest. But feeling the bands, feeling the Monday track. We don't have a Monday track at home. And just do a serious first 200 and then uh, switch my stripe in a bit earlier than normal and get safely through. And I think it worked out pretty well, so I'm happy. Also, when you're disappointed, also when it's going well, always do the right recovery. Try to sleep as much as possible. And uh, I think I used yesterday's rest day really well. And uh, now I have a quick recovery and then I have another day. So, uh, but first, focus on the semis. <laughs> I mean, of course, it's different if you fight for a medal instead of getting to the semi-final, it's different. But on the other hand, what I love about track is that you always get to be a better athlete than you were the race before or the day before and the year before. And this is something I really love. Just trying to get better each time in technique or just in endurance or in lactic, whatever it is that we choose to focus on. And I think that's just something amazing to do. And of course, you become a bit more competitive when there are more higher things at stakes. But at the end, I just love to race and I get to do it on the highest level. So I'm really happy about that. I just love track and I think the competitiveness is in me. I mean, when I was young and I couldn't win a game, I also wasn't like the happiest person, but I could, I could deal with it. But I just really like to be the best at something. Uh, it was a nice race. I wanted to do a good first part and uh, I think this worked out pretty well. I got to feel the track from a different lane. It was four yesterday, today lane eight, and uh, it felt good, so I'm happy. No, I really try to conserve energy, but this is always tough because you want to conserve, but you don't want to lose all of a sudden. So it's always tough, but uh, today I could really conserve some energy, so I'm really happy about this. I think for me, it's just I love this sport and I love to train, I love to go into lactic, I love <laughs> just to be out there with my friends, with my teammates and have a good time and I think this makes it so much easier. Also on days you maybe have a bit less motivation to have these people around you and no, I love racing but I also love training so together I think it's the best. I think I put it aside and I won this gold medal anyway and I was just like I'm gonna try it because I won it and not just because I lost it, just because I won it. It's a big chance for Ball, there are so many Dutch in the stadium, they're on their feet. Cockrell on the outside, Shamir Little's trying to close but Ball is away and clear here. She fell on the first night. But like the great champion she is, she has risen to conquer all.
I'm a world champion. First time I say it, it's amazing and I cannot believe it yet. But I'm so happy and I'm so proud of my team and how we did it, how we managed also throughout this tournament, throughout the entire year, to change the 14 stride and we did this all together and I'm super proud. It was incredible. I don't know what to say. Incredible. But she did it. She incredible. Did. More than that. Our daughter. Happy Great. for her. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, to become world champion is a dream that you're never sure if it's going to come true and it came true for me and especially also after Saturday it made it even more, yeah, more happy I think for me and also more proud of myself for being able to do it this way and uh, didn't choose the easy way but <laughs> I still made it and uh, yeah, it was just amazing. Femke Ball driving to close down on Nicole Yergin. She's going to move into the silver. Is she going to take it on the line? Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Can you believe it? Live sport cannot be beaten for drama. Femke Bol has stolen, stolen the last gold for the Netherlands. That underlines why this is the greatest world championship we've ever seen. What a finish.